My name is Shelley Spruitt and I'm from uh, Ottawa, Canada. And my husband and I have been farming for 30 years just outside of Ottawa. And we grow heritage and ancient greens. So I started about four years ago with 10 varieties of old wheat and old barley and bulked the seed up to see which would be adaptable to our area. This year we were able to harvest a commercial rate of purple Ethiopian barley, a Tibetan barley and a Brazilian loris wheat, which is a hard wheat. Harvest means many things to me, actually. I think harvest, when I think of just the wonder of growing something, uh, you know, six months putting a little seed in the ground. And, and in our climate, you know, it, uh, we plant in May and we harvest some of our grains as early as September. It, it's just the wonder of it, you know, like just in that little seed, what, what can come from it. And especially with the barleys, I think that's what draws me to them so much is, you know, you can line up five, six, seven different varieties of barley seed and to look at them on the table, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But then when they, they start to grow and see the different head and see the different color structure and see the different stalk size, it, it's, it's just, to me, it's just a, a, a bold statement of God's goodness. Today's soup is a French Canadian lentil and barley soup. I have brought some of the barley that we grow at home. On that theme of creating community around bread and around soup, what we decided to do is ask one person from the table to be the metaphor for the person who's going to gather the food for the community of your table. I've always uh, followed Arasha sort of in the distance. Uh, I've read their newsletters. I felt encouragement that um, there was somebody else out there that was concerned and was working on the environmental level the way I was feeling as a farmer, the issues. So I felt that it was an opportunity for me to give back to the people who, who've been doing. But I also feel that we need to broaden our, our conversation about environmental stewardship. It needs to be linked to our food. Different countries around the world have different issues environmentally. But the one thing that does keep us all united is our food. Um, we all eat three meals a day. Some of us, if we're blessed enough to eat three meals a day. And I feel very strongly that there's very few things that will impact our environment as much as the stewardship of the land that grows our food. When we get people to connect environmental stewardship of land that grows our food, they will have a different connotation of the importance than they will of talking maybe just birds or talking butterflies or talking some of these other issues. But when they start to understand that that environmental impact impacts their food, that impacts their health, that impacts their family, I feel that we need to have that conversation. And I think in doing that, that brings the people back to the land. It encourages the farmer to keep the purity of what they're growing, and it creates the community around the importance and just the thankfulness of what the land gives us. I would say um, a seed conservationist, um, a Christian who believes that uh, the loss of biodiversity is, um, is poor stewardship on our part. The Lord gave us beautiful bounty of, of many things, and I, I think to narrow the window of a free varieties is, is not being good stewards of our, of our land, of our seed. I, um, I can think of very few other things that have impacted me as much as uh, as communion the day watching that basket. Um, I think because I am a farmer, because I, I have a very um, deep connection with the land, with the grain, it's just really powerful um, to see people breaking the bread that I made, but uh, understanding that, yeah, the Lord uh, it is uh, generosity gave the grains 
across the world that are adaptable. So what one person, what one country calls bread, breaking bread together, another person. And it's just been fun um, making bread uh, for all the different people here this week, but also making bread from different regions, what one person considers bread, flat and crispy, uh, light and fluffy, dark, light, you know, but we all call it bread. I think it's just a beautiful metaphor for, uh, for our relationship with Christ. Uh, he, he takes us as we are in all our diversity.